This is Director Wickman with a special message for all staff members. As some of you may know, this institution has recently come to a very important decision. Hillbrook Asylum was founded by Dr. Markway Hillbrook to treat the criminally insane, cure these poor lost souls of the demons that haunted them. And that is what we have been doing since 1915. However, over the years, we've begun to house another group here too. A group that seems to become more dominant as time goes by. This is a group that never really belonged here in the first place. I am of course talking about so-called metahumans, super-powered individuals. Not only that though, but straight up monsters too, beasts and supernatural entities. Yeah, we house such unnatural creatures. Most of these aren't even mentally ill, they're just bizarre. I ask you, what is there for us to treat in them? Nothing. We can only cage them like the literal monsters they are. The only reason we were forced to accept them was because the government didn't know what else to do with them. Whenever the government found something odd and bizarre, they sent it to us. Because we're the home of odd and bizarre, right? Well, no more. This is the decision we've made. With the start of the year 2020, Hillbrook Asylum will no longer admit any superpowered or supernatural individuals or entities. That is not our job, and it never was. We treat the mentally ill. This is a hospital, not some super prison for supervillains and giant bug monsters. Shove them somewhere else, where I don't care. The ones we already have admitted here though will stay. They will serve out the rest of their sentences here, unfortunately. Maybe in some of the more extreme cases though, relocation can be arranged. But we will definitely not admit any new ones. Anyway, that will be all, and you can return to your duties now. And that was the in-universe excuse for this change, explained by director Wickman himself. And this is me, the real me, with the actual reason. With all of these super-powered and supernatural patients, the Hillbrook community is starting to become a clone of another community. The SCP Foundation. Yep, Hillbrook has sadly developed into a poor man's SCP Foundation. A cheap knockoff. I don't think anybody wants that, not even the people responsible for creating these supernatural characters. People asked me early on if they could create superpowered or supernatural patients. I said why not, just as long as they're insane. I am thus to blame too, as I should have said no, and made it clear they weren't allowed from the start. I never suspected they would become so prominent though, I figured they'd be a minority among the patients. Now, if you only watch the Hillbrook videos, you may not have noticed them so much, as I myself, for example, haven't done a single video on a superpowered or supernatural patient. And no, Piranha Boy and Flatface don't have any powers. However, the Facebook page and the comment sections are chock full of metahumans and monsters. A few supernatural things I would be fine with, but it's no good when they take over. Hillbrook Asylum is, like Wickman said, a place for the criminally insane. Serial killers, mad cult leaders, psychotic gangsters, insane terrorists. Those are the types of characters you should be creating, not comic book supervillains with powers or creatures straight out of Lovecraft. If that's the stuff you want to write, I suggest you write a comic instead, or for the SCP Foundation. The SCP Foundation exists. You want to write about monsters? Go there. Starting in 2020, any posts featuring new supernatural or metahuman patients will be deleted. I will delete them in the comments of my videos, and I demand that all other YouTubers do so as well on their videos. They will also be deleted on the Facebook page, either by me or any of the mods. And to all of you mods, it is required of you to delete any such submissions upon discovery. You cannot approve them. If you violate this rule, you will be stripped of your moderator status. Of course, making one mistake is fine, but don't make it twice. As for YouTube videos, 
Well, I can't really control those. There are ways of having YouTube videos removed, of course, but it probably isn't that easy. I will naturally declare any videos violating this rule as not being canon, though, and officially distance the community from them. By the way, this new rule also applies to gadgets. You cannot create patients with gadgets that simulate superpowers, like for example flying robot suits or gloves that shoots lasers. More realistic gadgets are allowed though, like for instance a modified flamethrower is fine, while a cold gun is not. Simply put, no gadgets that are too sci-fi. As stated, these rules only apply to new patients, and only to patients of Hilbrook Asylum. You can still use the supernatural characters you have already created. And technically you can still create new supernatural characters outside the asylum. I would advise against the latter though, or certainly advise against focusing too much on it. Some of you may not like this new rule. I actually don't like it myself. Like I said, I don't mind a few supernatural aspects. But I see no other way out. In order to stop the massive influx of these characters, we have to ban them. I've tried to lead by example by only doing videos on human patients. That clearly didn't work though. You gotta think of it this way, when new people discover our community, all they will see is a cheap SCP Foundation ripoff, and they will thus dismiss us. This new rule is for the good of the community. Keep in mind, I'm not demanding total realism. You can certainly keep your patients weird and strange. In fact, I encourage that. The weirder, the better. But give them a weird personality, a weird psychosis, a weird look. Don't give them weird powers. You can also exaggerate your patient's abilities a bit, such as their strength or intelligence, just as long as it stays within the laws of nature. You can also make up fictional mental disorders. After all, this new rule is not really meant to strive for realism. It's meant to differentiate ourselves from the SCP Foundation. And also, I might add, from Arkham Asylum. Hillbrook was inspired by both Arkham and the Foundation, but it was never meant to be either of those. Hillbrook is supposed to be its own thing. A second new rule has also been decided on. This rule is meant to make the community more orderly and uniform. This rule does not apply starting with 2020, but right away. From now on, any works created for the Hillbrookverse must be within one of four categories. You can only write stories in one of these four categories, and they must be labeled as such. What are these four categories, you ask? Well, here they are. Hillbrook Patient Sessions. This is meant to be the main category or main series. It's the new style I've begun to use for my videos. What it basically is is, is a sit down with your doctor character and one of your patients, new or old. A therapy session, in other words. The cornerstone of mental health care. Naturally, it should be the main series. Category 2 is Hillbrook Patient Files. This is the old style I use for my videos. Basically, the history of your patient told like a story, a dramatized narrative with plot and side characters. In fact, your patient may not even be the main character in works written in this category. Like for example, Flatface wasn't the main character in his patient file. It was Johnny Carbone. And Mirror Mug wasn't the main character in his patient file either. It was Julie Collins. You choose this yourself. You can tell the stories through any character's point of view. Like I said, patient files are dramatized narratives told like a short story. Me personally, I'm not too fond of this style anymore, and if it was up to me, it would be discontinued. But I suspect some people still like it, so we'll keep it around. I encourage you rather choose category 1 though, but ultimately it's up to you. Category 3 is Hillbrook Stories. This is, simply put, random stories set in the Hillbrookverse. They can be about a patient escaping the asylum. They can be about your doctor character on some misadventure. They can be about a character inhabiting the city outside Hillbrook. They can also be big events, split up into multiple parts and contributed to by multiple creators. Examples like this on the Facebook page include the Hillbrook musical and the riot in Cell Block H. These stories are meant to explore the rest of the Hillbrookverse and do world building. Finally, we have category 4, Hillbrook Chronicles. Chronicles are any of the categories above, if they take place in the past. Hillbrook stories set in the past, 
patient sessions set in the past and patient files set in the past. So anything that takes place in the past, before Wickman took over the asylum in 2015. They can take place in any year in the asylum's history, or even before the asylum was founded in 1915. Of course, you need to make sure you know Hilberg's history before you write these. For instance, check up who ran the asylum during which era. Some of that is found in my History of Hilberg video, and the rest can be found on the wiki. The wiki is a bit of a mess though, and no one is updating it any longer, unfortunately, so yeah. As stated, you must not only write within one of these four categories, but you must also label your work as one of these categories. This you naturally do at the very top of the text, above the title, if you have a title. If it's a video, then you naturally write it in the video title. If you disobey this rule and create a work that does not belong in any of these categories, it will be deleted. If you simply forget to label it, you will be asked to edit it and add a label. Remember that mods, delete it if it doesn't fit, and if it doesn't feature a label, ask the poster to add it. So there it is, the new rules of Hilbrook Asylum. These rules are meant to make Hilbrook better, not to ruin anyone's day. If you have any questions, ask them down below. And I sincerely hope that anyone who participates in or plans to participate in the Hillbookverse are still watching and have watched the entire video. It was quite important. I know this community is growing at a snail's pace and so far hasn't really caught on beyond viewers of Mr. Rogues, but let's try and make the best of it anyway. The better we make of it, the more likely it will catch on. At the beginning of the next year, I will make a short video where I explain in a simple and brief manner just what exactly Hillbrook Asylum is and what the rules are. It will be the new trailer for this channel. If something isn't clear here, hopefully it will be in that video. And as always, remember, Hillbrook Asylum awaits you in the next video.